Hi friends, uh, today I'll be giving a briefing on supercharger, the, actually the functions of a supercharger, how a supercharger functions and what are the different type of superchargers available. So, uh, you know, most of the modern automobiles are coming with superchargers as a standard fitment or uh, after the purchase of the vehicle, we can install a supercharger into uh, an automobile. So actually, what is the function or the purpose of a supercharger? A supercharger helps an automobile or a small engine to produce a boost or a small engine can produce more HP or horsepower with the help of a supercharger. It helps uh, to increase the HP to about 46 percentage and to torque to about 31 percentage higher. So let's see how a su supercharger helps a automobile engine uh, to increase the horsepower to about 46 percentage and torque to about 31 percentage. So how this power is produced in an engine? It is produced due to the combustion of the fuel. So if more fuel gets combustion or more fuel burns, more uh, power is created so if more fuel needs to burn we need to supply more air into the inlet manifold because if we only supply more fuel it can only be assisted with that much quantity of or the desired quantity of air for proper combustion to happen that is 14 part of fuel to one part of air 14 is to one ratio if it is maintained only the fuel will be complete combustion happens so uh, to increase the quantity of the fuel supplied for proper combustion we need to improve or increase the quantity of air to be supplied so a supercharger what, what it does is that it, it gives pressurized air that means normal atmospheric pressure is 14.7 psi with a supercharger we can attain up to 22 psi pounds per square inch of pressure in the inlet manifold with compressed air more quantity of air so that more fuel can be burned and more power can be produced that is how this 41 percentage more power and 31 percentage more torque is produced by the help of a supercharger so actually when this pressurized air is supplied uh, to the inlet manifold uh, what happens is that uh, the density of the air reduces so if the density of the air gets uh, reduced uh, uh, its property to expand will be less so if, if, if it is not properly expanding that much power is not uh, happening here inside the inlet manifold so for cooling of the air actually after the supercharger we have an intercooler between here so after the supercharger the compressed air when it is before it is entering the inlet manifold we will be having an intercooler here which cools the compressed air or pressurized air coming over here before it gets into the inlet manifold so that uh, the required hp can be produced over there so and that's how a supercharger is actually working and assisting uh, the engine to produce more power. We have three uh, superchargers, root supercharger, twin screw supercharger and centrifugal supercharger. Uh, each of them are explained in my YouTube channel. So visit my YouTube channel so that you can get a good knowledge about uh, three of uh, these supercharger systems. The disadvantage of supercharger is that actually it is uh, taking the drive from the engine itself. Uh, for the supercharger to function so about 20 percentage of the efficiency of the engine is taken away uh, by the supercharger uh, actually from the crankshaft but 41 percentage of boost is actually developed by the supercharger so this can be compensated and an additional 20 percentage uh, extra power is being produced by uh, the help of a supercharger so that's all about a supercharger i hope you understand it thank you